Okay, here's the solution for uh, quiz five, which uh, is covering chapters uh, six and seven of the textbook. <clears throat> uh, the first part of the problem uh, focuses on uh, uh, elastic uh, stress strain, and uh, we start out with determining the stress, which is just the force over the area. And most of the time, if, if uh, you're not told explicitly to use a true stress or true strain, uh, we do everything in terms of the engineering stress strain. So that is 48900. Zero, zero. pi, and then r squared, and the diameter is that, so that's going to be one half of 15.2 times 10 to the minus 3 squared. And this is Newton per meter squared. So Newton per meter squared is a Pascal gives us 2.69 times 10 to the 8 Pascal. Uh, so now we have the stress because we had the force and we had the uh, area. The strain uh, we have because we have the elastic modulus. You know, stress to the elastic modulus times the strain, which means that the strain is equal to stress over the elastic modulus. The elastic modulus is in GPA, so this is 2.69 times 10 to the 8 Pascal divided by 207 times 10 to the 9 Pascal. So this unitless. Uh, determine the uh, elongation. So E is equal to delta L over L naught. Gives us that delta L is equal to E L naught, which is equal to 1.30 times 10 to the minus 3 times 250 millimeters, which gives us 0 0.325 millimeters. And diameter change. <clears throat> so for that we need to turn our uh, elongation strain into the transverse strain using the Poisson ratio. Nu is equal to negative E L O N G divided by E transverse which gives us E transverse is equal to negative E, E, L, O, N, E long, nu is equal to 
minus 1.30 times 10 to the minus 3 times the Poisson ratio, which is 0 0.3. So E tran is equal to negative 0 0.39 times 10 to the minus 4. So that's telling us that when we get a positive elongation, then we get a negative shrinkage around the middle. And we have the change in the diameter is equal to E transverse, which means that delta D is equal to uh, D0 E transverse, delta D is equal to uh, the original length, the original diameter was 15.02 two millimeters <coughs> times negative 0 0.39 times 10 to the minus 4, which gives us a delta D of So this, these first four steps were all about uh, the uh, stress-strain relations. Uh, now we're asked, uh, using the change in cross-sectional area to determine the percent coal work. Well, this is a trick question uh, in as much as we're talking about cold work. and. This is all elastic. So to say that something is elastically deformed is to say that there is no cold work because there's no dislocations. Zero. <clears throat> and the last is we're going to turn this cylindrical specimen that we're pulling on uh, that starts out polycrystalline because we're talking about a, a steel which typically steels are, are polycrystalline uh, and instead treat it as an FCC crystal oriented with a uniaxial load in the 001 direction. Uh, what is the resolved shear stress for slip on the 111 plane in the 01 bar 1 direction? So That's our little cuboid. We have our stress, and our stress is given up here. And uh, using right handed coordinate system, and this being zero, zero. One, uh, we have uh, the one one zero direction. planes and the zero one bar one the zero 
1 bar 1 direction there. Okay. So we're talking about the, the uh, resolve shear, shear stress. So we're going to be using tau equals sigma cosine phi cosine lambda. Okay, that sets things up. Uh, as far as solving it goes, we're going to use vectors because vectors are our friends. And in particular, we're going to use that for two vectors, say u and w, the angle between them, cosine theta of the angle in particular, is equal to u dot w divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of w. It's kind of handy. It's especially handy because we have these directions and the directions are essentially vectors. So if we want to know the cosine theta, or sorry, cosine phi, which is the angle between 0, 0, 1, and the normal of the plane, 1, 1, 1, we're going to say cosine phi is equal to uh, 0, 0, 1, dotted into the normal direction, which is 1, 1, 1, divided by the magnitude of 0, 0, 1, which is just 1, times the magnitude of 1, 1, 1, which is the square root of 3. So this is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 1 over 1 times the square root of 3. Cosine lambda is the dot product of uh, 0, 0, 1 and the 0, 1 bar 1 direction. So that's 0, 0, 1 dot 0, 1 bar 1 divided by the magnitude of 0, 0, 1 times the magnitude of 0, 1 bar 1. So that gives us 1 divided by 1 times the square root of 2. Which means that our stress, our resolved stress, is equal to our applied uh, tensile stress, which is 1.3 Last strain, sorry. 2.69 times 10 to the 8 pascals times 1 over square root 3, 1 over square root 2. And that uh, is. 1.10 times 10 to the 8 Pascal. So this is the uh, solution to quiz number 5.